Hi folks, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the hash128 function. It's similar to using um, scrambling, so if we choose product code, click on scramble, you can see it's scrambled the, the code so they no longer look the, the way they used it. But if you need to unscramble, you have to close the document again. And you need to open the document back up for it to be unscrambled. So we create a list box and call it product code. You can see now we're back to normal. But if you don't want to do that each time, what you could do is create a, a list box expression and say equals hash128 product code. Click apply, you can see basically it's taken the, the, the four or five digit product codes and populated with 128 characters uh, to kind of hide the original value that's inside of that code. So it's just a quick tip to show you how to use what you could do is just rename it so you know it's product, but um, it's not for everyone to see. You could also, there's a couple of others there where you can use hash. Um, 160 which just gives 160 characters back or hash 256 which gives 256 characters back so that's pretty much it it's basically an alternative to using the scramble um, document properties and scramble I hope that helps and I'll see you next video cheers